working with uh, young adults who are between the ages of about 18 to 24 is critical for any movement because that's a period where people are making critical decisions about the rest of their lives. They're thinking about the kind of work that fits with their understanding of their own purpose and calling in the world and they're making decisions that will set them on a particular path professionally and vocationally. Some of the skills that young adults need as they do discernment and gain capacities to commit to a life of service and activism include the capacity for critical reflection. Listening, deep listening and active listening is an essential capacity for peacemaking. What struck me first was the design of the program because this uh, program gives you opportunity uh, to do internship, which is a great opportunity to gain experience, especially international uh, yeah, level. At the same time, this program uh, provides opportunities to participate at training, especially in nonviolence and peace building. And thirdly, and most importantly, this program requires from in, uh, the applicants to, per, uh, to design an individual project. And I thought that's a great opportunity for me, uh, like while I'm doing studies, which is which is sort of trainings at the, this fellowship program, but at the same time to design my own, uh, you know, individual project, which can be more practical for me. Uh, in my country, in my context, so that would be that would be great, you know. Like I think that's a great program to gain practical and also theoretical knowledge at the same time. When we are looking for leaders for the next chapter of the movement and FOR's life, there are there are capacities that can be learned and there are dispositions and ways of being that may be more natural or innate to certain individuals. Anyone needs the capacity for compassion, the capacity for love, the capacity for persevering. One of the things that has stood out the most for me is the passion with which all of our trainers have done their work and how they've persisted and committed to nonviolence. And they're very unapologetic about it, and they're very unapologetic about their spirituality. I've never encountered a space like this in terms of that. The idea that spirituality um, renews our work and protects us from burnout, because we're all doing very um, challenging work. We all have a variety and a very diverse range of contexts which we're working within, but it's been amazing to see how despite the diversity in those contexts, we can still come together with a common thread that everyone deserves to have their humanity recognized regardless of their beliefs, their and their background. And I hope they will know that they have a solid grounding underneath their feet, that they'll know that we will continue to be support for them even when they leave Shadow Cliff. And I hope that they'll reach out when they need support throughout their lives and, and continue to utilize the FOR community as a network of support. And I, I know that they will be changing the world. And I really look forward to seeing how they do that. The work of FOR is furthered through our network of donors and supporters, our friends who make it all possible. And we've been able to underwrite the fellowship school over the last nine weeks here at Shadowcliff because of our network of friends. And so we ask that you continue to support this work and the future work with a donation or a gift uh, to FOR.